Hello, and welcome to the demo for SCM Access Groups, a new feature that has been added to Rational Team Concert 601. This demo will show the Eclipse client and a bit of the web client and the CLI, but the feature is also available in the Visual Studio client. Before demoing the feature, let's discuss the requirements that led to adding the feature. The basic requirement is a need to limit read access to SCM artifacts. SCM artifacts can be files, folders, components, repository workspaces, or streams. RTC 6.0 already supports this with read access feature. Access can be restricted to a project area, a team area, a component, or an individual user. The new requirement is that it should be possible to restrict read access to a combination of groups and users, so that multiple groups of users will have access to an SCM artifact. RTC 6.0 has an access groups feature that solves this, but it is limited to work items. Therefore, for release 6.0.1, the access group feature has been extended to SCM artifacts. Let's look at an example. Suppose we have three teams, core team, branch one team, and branch two team. And we have three folders, core private folder, branch one folder, and branch two folder. We want core team to have access to all three folders but we want branch one team only to have access to branch one folder and branch two team only to have access to branch two folder. We'll model this in RTC with a project area and three team areas and three folders, which we will see in the demo. And we'll see how this is solved with three access groups. Let's log into the web client and look at our project area. We see one project area called Demo. This is our project area. The Demo project area has five members. We can see the five members, the administrator and four users named George, John, Paul, and Ringo. The Demo project area also has three team areas. And here are the three team areas, branch one team, branch two team, and core team. And we can see the members of the three teams. For branch one team, it has one member, George. For branch two team, it has one member, Ringo. And for core team, it has two members, John and Paul. We are using the default access control for the project area, which allows all members of the project area to see the project area and its artifacts. Now let's look at the contents of the project area. We see a stream called demo stream, a single component called demo component, and a project called demo project. When we look at the project, we see three folders, which are all visible. In order to get permissions the way we want to, we will need access groups. Let's look at the access groups, which we can only do in the web client. We can see the three access groups, which we've created before the demo, core group, core plus branch one group, and core plus branch two group. And we can see the members of the three access groups. Core group has the core team, core plus branch one group has branch one team and core team, core plus branch two group has branch two team and core team. Now let's log into the Eclipse client as user John. Let's look and see what's visible to John. Let's look at the repository files view, which will show all the files in the project. And we could see that all three folders, branch one folder, branch two folder, and core private folder are visible to John. Now let's log in as user Paul.
and we can see that all three folders are also visible to user Paul. And we can log in as user George. And we see all three folders are visible to user George as well. And then finally, we log in as user Ringo. And we see all three folders are visible to Ringo too. Now let's log in as the administrator and start restricting access to some of these folders. We show repository files as we did before. First, let's see what we can do without access groups. So we'll add access control to the core private folder by right-clicking on it and selecting Change Access Control. Remember, we want this folder visible to the core team, which consists of John and Paul. We can do this by selecting Project Area or Team Area, and then selecting Core Team. Note that the folder now shows that it is visible only to the core team. Let's see if this worked. We will look at the Eclipse client for the various users, refresh their repository files views, and see what they can see. First, let's look at John's workspace. Go to the repository files view. We refresh. And yes, he can still see core private folder, and we can also see that it's visible to the core team. Now let's look at Paul. We do the refresh as well. And yes, he can still see everything as well. Now let's look at Ringo. OK, now we see that Ringo can no longer see the core team, which is what we wanted. And finally, let's look at George. And George as well cannot see the core team. So, so far, so good. Now let's restrict the branch one and branch two folders. So back to the administrator, we go to branch one, we change access control. Now we said we're going to do it without access groups. So let's try to do it with a team area. Well, we have three teams we could choose. Let's restrict it to branch one team. And then we let's restrict branch two folder to branch two team. So we can now see that all three folders are restricted. Branch one folder to branch one team, branch two folder to branch two team, and core private folder to core team. Now let's see what the various users can see. Let's start with George. We refresh. George can see branch one folder, which is what we want. Now let's look at John. OK, so John can only see core private folder. He can't see branch one and branch two. But remember, our requirement was that the core team should be able to see everything. So we can't solve this problem without access groups. Therefore, let's use access groups and see how that helps us solve the problem. We'll go back to the admin client, and we'll set the correct access groups. We have the administrator's client. We'll go to the branch one folder change access control, and this time we'll use an access group. We'll use the core plus branch one group. For the branch two folder, we'll use the core plus branch two group. So now we can see that the two the branch folders have their access restricted to access groups. What about the core private folder? Well, since we want it visible only to the core team, we can leave it as it is. We don't need an access group for this folder. Let's see what the various users can see. Let's start with John.
Okay, so now John can see the core private folder and now he can also see the branch one folder and the branch two folder. Good, that's what we wanted. Now let's look at Paul. Paul can see what John can see. So he can also see the core private folder, branch one, branch two. So far, so good. Let's look at George. Okay, George can still just see branch one. Perfect. And now let's look at Ringo. And Ringo can just see branch two. That's what we wanted. We solved our problem with access groups. Access groups can also be used for other SCM artifacts. Let's look at setting access control for streams, repository workspaces, and components. We'll go to John's workspace, and we'll look at his repository workspaces. So John has a repository workspace called John's Demo Workspace. Let's take a look at it. Okay, note that its visibility is private. That means only John can see it. Suppose John wants to give Paul visibility to his repository workspace. He can change the visibility. We can't set the visibility of a repository workspace to a team area, but now with access groups, we can set the visibility to our core team access group. So let's do that. Now we'll go to Paul's client and see if he can find John's repository workspace. And there it is, it comes up in the search results, John's demo workspace. And we see that now Paul can see John's demo workspace. Now Paul's is still private. So let's see what happens if John tries to look for Paul's. And see it comes up empty because Paul's is still private. Now we'll set access control to a stream using access groups. So let's look at the demo stream. The default visibility of demo stream is project scoped, meaning everyone in the project area can see it. We can change the visibility to use an access group. Now in this example, it probably wouldn't make sense to change the visibility of this demo stream because we want all four users to be able to deliver to it. But imagine a different scenario where we have a second stream that we don't want all four users to be able to deliver to. We might want to restrict the access control to demo core group. So we, we won't do it for this one. Similarly, for component, the access control of a component can be changed. It defaults to the project area, but you can also change it now to access group. And again, in this case, we want all four users to be able to have access to this component, but there are other situations where we might want to restrict certain components. Access control is also visible in other parts of the client. For example, if we look at the Project Explorer and we select a folder and we bring up Properties and we look on Jazz Source Control, we can see there's read access permission and it tells you that it's set to the access group. Now let's look at the command line interface. We can use the new command to list the access groups. And we can use the dash dash name parameter to filter. We can use the SCM get attributes command to show the visibility. We can see that the visibility is set correctly to access group demo core group. This concludes the demo of SCM access groups. Thank you for watching, and we hope you find this feature and the other new features in RTC 601 useful and easy to use.